Okay, so far we've talked a lot about how to get rid of rats and mice. However, in order to treat for rats and mice, you have to know exactly which one you are dealing with. Because not only are their biologies totally different, but so are their treatment methods. So I'm gonna teach you how you can tell the difference between a mouse infestation and a rat infestation. And let me tell you people, it's all in the poop. So first off, why is this important? It's important because mice are inquisitive, all right? Mice have a very small circumference of infestation, and mice love checking things out, exploring things, and they're a lot smaller. So when you treat for mice, you're generally going to use much smaller traps and scented glue boards because you want to attract them to the glue board through the smell because they're gonna wanna check it out because they're inquisitive. Rats, on the other hand, are completely neophobic. They hate new things in their path. They aren't inquisitive. They don't want to check them out. So when you're treating for rats, you have to use unscented glue boards that are placed in their pathways that they will trip upon. These are two completely different biologies and two completely different treatment methods. So you need to know how to identify whether or not the rodents that are infesting your structure are indeed mice or rats. And how do you do it? You do it by inspecting the poop. Now, mice have totally different anal glands and they're much smaller. So when they poop in the spots where they're eating and they're infesting and they poop multiple times per hour even, okay, the poops come out very small and with pointed ends, okay? Rats, on the other hand, have much larger feces. Rodents, especially the roof rats and the Norwegian rats that we deal with here in Santa Clarita, have much larger poops that also have much more blunted ends, and they also seem to glisten a little bit more when they're fresh. Then, when you see that type of feces, you know that you're dealing with rats that will require larger traps, unscented glue boards, and possibly even an exclusion in your attic. So at the end of the day, if you wanna know what kind of rat you're dealing with, you gotta check out the poop. If you suspect you have a rodent infestation in your house, call us, mention this video, and we'll give you a free inspection just to check out your work.